This is a quick look at the 6.5 Havoc Behavior Tool, and we're going to look particularly at some of the enhancements we've made to what's known as Flow View. We have a variety of ways to visualize the structure of a behavior in the Havoc Behavior Tool. The typical way that is often seen is the Asset View, which is a very uh, tabular list of all the nodes and the structures for a behavior underneath a particular character and all the attributes of that behavior. Another way to look at that is to actually look at what we call a Graph View. The Graph View, which I'll just tab to that window, is um, actually uh, a state based view so we can actually look at the state but if that state is very complex and has a lot of node structure underneath it including uh, modifiers uh, on animations and maybe even uh, parallel state machines this particular view isn't always appropriate so we have another view called the flow view flow view is uh, that exact same kind of view uh, with uh, everything all the detail of that particular root state that we just saw broken out beneath it uh, for all the nodes. As you can see this is an extremely uh, sophisticated behavior we're looking at right here and uh, it has a lot of things grouped and structured in different ways. We have a modifier list here that does a lot of damping and sensing of objects in the environment as well as preparing uh, the hands for doing IK attachments. Uh, we also have a nested state machine which itself has other states inside of it uh, for dealing with uh, the character's situation when he's dead. Uh, as well as uh, powered ragdoll poses, as you can see here. Uh, often instanced uh, sections of the tree can be used in multiple places. You can see by the asterisks here that that is uh, an indication that those two are actually an instance of the same graph, etc., etc. And as you can see, there's a, a good deal of uh, detail here. And you can also see that we have this dynamic uh, labeling scheme. As you pull further back, you get the title of the highest node in this colored box right here. And of course, at any time, we can select a particular section of the graph and we have hotkeys for zooming in on those sections so we can actually see and operate on those nodes. And at any time I can also uh, via um, the main window actually see what's going on inside of uh, this particular uh, uh, scratch pad area here if I select a particular modifier and I can get the the, uh, the attributes for that modifier. So that's the, um, the flow view, uh, which is enhanced in the 6.5 uh, release quite a bit, uh, and I will show you some of its other features in a separate video. Thank you.